Hey guys, Lucas from iExplore here and I am in Shio Dome, which is a very cool architectural heavy area of Tokyo. A lot of buildings, a lot of interesting lines and architecture, glass, all that. And today we're going to have some fun with escalators. I'm going to teach you how to get this shot, which I've gotten in this area. And then we'll also experiment with some of the other escalators that are around here. There's, there's more than one and we'll try a couple different things as well. All right, so come with me. All right guys, so here we are next to a pretty, pretty cool looking escalator with all these lights on it, as you can probably see in the background there. And to shoot this, we could leave it on automatic exposure. We're gonna let the camera choose the exposure for us, but we're only gonna allow it to do that using the ISO. So I'm gonna leave my ISO on auto, but I'm gonna put the other two settings on manual. So I'm gonna have a manual shutter and a manual aperture. Now the manual aperture, Kind of goes without saying. I pretty much always, 99.99999% of the time, let's just say 100% of the time, use a manual aperture because it affects depth of field and I want to make sure I have the one that I want. So for this scene, I'm going to go with f5.6 because it's going to give me a lot of depth of field, so it's going to make everything nice and sharp and the view or the thing that we're going to be shooting is very bright. So even though it's dark out here, this is nighttime, the lights down there are going to provide enough light to create a nice exposure without any issues. The reason I'm on full manual and not aperture mode is because I want to control the shutter speed. And why do I want to do that for this shot? Well, we're going to be shooting fluorescent lights and they're going to be filling most of our scene. And fluorescent lights flicker at about 50 or 60 hertz, 50 or 60 times per second. Uh, it varies from country to country, but that's usually about how fast they flicker. So if I have a shutter speed that's too fast, like a hundredth or a two hundredth or more, we're going to see weird color effects where like half the frame is one color and the other half the frame is a different color. This is not necessarily bad, but I think we should try to avoid it. And anyway, it's a good case or a good example of how to deal with this flickering fluorescent effect. Okay, so I'm going to shoot my, or set my shutter speed to a 60th of a second to avoid the flicker effect. Okay, so that's it. 60th of a second, f5.6, auto ISO, auto exposure in general with no compensation, 0.0. .0. All right, let's try the shot. I'm gonna get on the escalator, and I forgot to mention earlier, but I'm, I have the strap wrapped around my wrist, okay? And I'm just gonna take the camera and stick it in between like so. All right, so yeah, so there you go. See, I'm just sticking it in there, trying uh, different angles. You know, I'm even holding my camera upside down, right? Making sure I get the, the focus down there, okay? As you can see, I got my strap around my wrist like this. Um, you know, you don't want to have your strap dangling or something like that. And then you just try a bunch. It's just a fun effect. And once you learn how to do this, it's really easy to learn. You're going to be doing this on every single escalator you encounter. All right, and there we go. We're at the bottom. Last shot. And let's do it going up as well. And look at that. That's an awesome view. So, yeah, by the way, I'm just a quick note. I'm using back button focus on my camera. So, you know, I got to hit the back button each time. It's probably easier to use the regular focus on this because you have to keep focusing as you get farther up. But, you know, it's okay. It's not a big deal to me. Just keep it the way I have, whichever focus mode works. And very important, going up and going down, not the same thing. You get different effects, so try both directions. And, of course, just experiment, angles, you know, straight lines, whatever you can, you can do. I'm gonna do the wrong settings. I'm gonna do a 500th of a second real quick, just to show you guys what's gonna happen on a 500th, okay? When the shutter is too fast. There you go, see that? Weird colors. <laughs> All right guys, I hope that gives you some cool ideas for how to shoot in this kind of architecture heavy environment, whether it's an escalator or some other kind of elements. The idea was to, you know, get your camera in this case, away from your eye and try something totally out of the box by sticking your camera in a place where you might not have thought to put it in the first place. And then all the, the glass, the lights just took over and the results were really cool. They were very high tech, very futuristic looking photos. So yeah, that's, that was the goal for today. I do encourage you guys to go out and try similar things on your own, whether that's in New York City or somewhere else in Tokyo or even right here in Shio Dome. All right guys, make sure you subscribe to us so you can catch more videos on this channel and always challenge your eye.